Welcome, I'm Elizabeth Harper. I'm thrilled that you've joined me on numerologist.com. I'm here with this week's angel messages. So we're using a big stack of cards. Let's see what the theme is going to be. Our message this week is all about being of service, your purpose. Where can you bring your light? How can you bring your light into this life and into other people's lives? Now, what I would love for you to do is place one on both of your hands over your heart, just like angel wings. Invite your angels to guide you to message one, two, or three, a message that comes from their heart to yours. What you can also do is move your cursor along using your intuition. Invite your angels to guide you to another message. Wherever you land, intuitively wherever you land in, your, in the video, then there's a message there for you, an extra message. All right, you ready? We've got a big stack here, so see if you can intuit which message is for you. So you've cho chosen number one, two, or three. Where is it in this stack of cards? All right, number one. I'm feeling like I want to go over this side. So there. It's number one. Life purpose. It says, oops, a daisy. You know, it's a problem with having a big stack of cards. You fall everywhere. This beautiful card, life purpose. So when we look at that card, what does that say to you other than life purpose? What does it say? Is there something else? It's maybe saying time to journal, time to write down what your, what your journey is at this moment. Maybe there's an inspiration for you to write. Maybe it's not about writing. It could be about on the computer, just typing in something on the computer. Maybe it's about texting somebody. Maybe it's about communicating with someone. And when you look at that image, there are four angels, small angels around this huge person this huge being and there's a light there as well there's this vibration of light that's there there's all these stars right here there's balance there's a balance in it and there's just here it's this sands of time as well you know it was kind of interesting because just as I'm doing this, I looked at the clock and it says 11, 11. So I feel this is really important for you. The message on the card says the purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose. I love that. And then your purpose will serve you. What great wisdom. You know, and with that, I feel that it's saying this is the time for you to share your wisdom, your inspiration. And it may be that you're writing that inspiration. It might be that you're just writing a word. Share that word. If it's an inspiring, powerful word, share it. And when I look at these angels, you know, there again, there is balance. So it's all about bringing balance. And it's kind of interesting as well when I look at the head here, it, it, they're not astrology symbols, but it feels like there's a connection to astrology with that as well. So it feels like there's an astrological energy that's there. So my sense with that is just to say that everything moves, everything's flowing, everything is moving in time. We're not static. We're not here in this moment and then that's it. This moment is always moving to another moment, to another moment. So even though we talk about there is no time, there is just a thought that we're having, we're still moving with those thoughts, right? So it's still moving. So I feel that this is just saying that you have inspiration to share. It's time for you to share it. I also notice the colors, this blue and gold, and that to me is about expression and wisdom. So it's about you expressing your wisdom. Oh, I love that. Okay, let me just put these cards back together. <laughs> and then, there we go. So now number two, let's see what you have. How many cards are in my hand? I think I have four decks in here. So what would that be? It would be a lot. 
<laughs> I feel like this card is for you. Number two. Let's see what this is. You know what? It's kind of interesting. It's along the same lines. Focus on service. That beautiful energy there, all that white. And white is, if you imagine like a whiteboard, it, it's as if, you know, it's just waiting. It has potential. It's waiting for something to be shared, for something to be, uh, for inspiration to be put onto that board. So it's very much like the first one, isn't it? Very much like the first card. So if you're only listening to card number two, go back and listen to card number one. Focus on service. So this unicorn has power. The unicorn has this beautiful horn that is pointing in a particular direction. There's a rainbow in there and rainbow, you know, it has all the colors. It, it has every ingredient that you need and there is completion and wholeness within a rainbow. What you might not realize, or maybe you do, is that a rainbow isn't just an arc, it's a circle. So we just don't see the other part of the of the circle because it goes usually into the earth. But it's a whole circle and that circle is wholeness. So we feel with this that there is, first of all, something that is going to make you feel whole, but also I feel like there's something completing. So there's a sense of something completing in your life. And it might be that, you know, things are changing for you right now and there could be something that's ending. What you need to know is there is a new beginning that's there and it's almost you know sometimes we have this desire for something it's like I really want this I really want this and then when the universe starts to create the pathway towards it we get scared because like whoa things are changing this is too difficult for me why are they changing because you don't necessarily know that you've already set it in motion that you've already said this is what I want and so the universe is saying okay I'll help you with that but I need to make some changes in your life in order for that to be created for you, in order for you to be ready for it. So I feel that that's what this is saying as well, that certain things are being completed right now so that then you can walk towards, move towards, flow towards this new beginning that awaits you. Focus on service, you being of service. How can you serve? How can you serve? You know, you're watching this as an angel messenger. You're watching this as a healer, as a light worker, as a psychic, an intuitive. It doesn't matter if you don't have that title. It's just a title. It's just a name. But you have that within you. And that service is to give back. That service is to share. That service to, is to be there. And being there doesn't necessarily mean predicting it doesn't necessarily mean putting your hands on people or or sharing a, a particular modality it means being there when you're needed and that being there when you're needed might be just sharing a positive outlook just taking your energy somewhere where it is most needed at the moment it could be that where you're most needed is to plant a seed in the earth to plant a tree in the earth to maybe focus on being environmentally friendly. That may be part of your service. So don't discount you as the servant because you're a servant of the light. It says here, the message, your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. I love that. The stream continuously feeds you everything you need Put your entire focus on staying in the stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. And that's important because as a light worker, as a human, as a spiritual being, you can't just give, 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 give. There needs to be balance. So it's important for you to receive as well as to give. Then you have that balance. All right. I love that. Okay. Our final card. Let me just shuffle this a little bit. <laughs> okay, our final card. Number three. What are you feeling? Where are you feeling that card is? Let me see. Ooh. I'm feeling, 
think like it's over here. Like it's over here somewhere. Maybe here. All right. So this one is from Archangel Gabriel. It says media. That's sort of interesting, isn't it? Media. So when we think of the media, it's the television, it's the newspapers, it's online, it's all the information that's coming out right now. And it says you can reach more people by working with video, audio, print and online media. When I look at this, I still get the sense, just like the other two cards that are about service, about giving, I feel that you, as this, again, this light being, it's important for you to take in what is most positive for you because energy is running through you. It's running through you all the time. So when you're taking in something that might be negative, something that might be emotionally challenging, hurtful, you know, words that are scary, fearful, they create fear in you as well. Then imagine that's in your in your energy field. So every time that you connect to someone, you're taking that energy field with you and they are also receiving that energy. And any anything that they have in their energy field, you're receiving theirs too. So if you've both got all this fear and all these negative words and all this sort of what's going on at the moment particularly, then it's like you're feeding off of each other and your energy can come down because, you know, you don't have something to feed you positivity, something nutritious and loving. So it's important for you to start looking at words that are positive, that make you feel good that energize you because negative words, they pull the plug on your energy. They can make your energy come down. So if we think of that from the perspective of keeping you healthy, then it's really important to have positive words. So words like love, joy, bliss, power, empowerment, those kind of words. How can you bring those words into your life? So when we look at things like the media and we look at the newspapers and everything online and, and everything that's coming out right now, then we can feel very negative about that. How can we shift that and change that around? How can we make it so it's positive? How can we look at this from the perspective of, okay, so this is happening, but this is a time for me to rise above this and really to create light and just as I said that it's like I don't know if you see it on my video but the light kind of shifted on my video and more light came in just as I said that word I love when that happens there are no coincidences so what I would love for you to do for yourself is start to bring light in start to bring love in focus on the positive words have them written down put them on the fridge put them on the your computer have them on your phone wrap them around your glass of water, you know, put them anywhere, write them on your glass of water, have them written in different places, have affirmations as well, use affirmations to allow them to come through your body, that positive, positive energy, because this is what you need right now. Even though that message is about you creating media, I feel that it's also about what you are receiving and how you can bring positive energy into your life right now. And as you do that, you have a domino effect on others because as you come into this place of positivity, so it helps you to share that positivity with others too. And that seems to be what this is about right now. It's about being of service. It's about really stepping into your purpose, your light, your power. And I know you can do that. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and watch the next video now. I will see you next week with another angel message. Bye for now. Angel blessings to you. Bye.